I'm going to be demonstrating how to repack your uh, four stroke or two stroke silencer. Um, you're only going to need like a few common hand tools, like a um, a eight millimeter socket, Allen wrenches, a screwdriver, and possibly an assortment of hammers if it hasn't been taken apart in a while. So um, basically, what you're going to want to do, and I've already removed most of the uh, bolts and Allen heads to uh, save time, but you're going to want to remove the end cap. You could just use a standard Allen wrench or like a socket with one inserted into it. And then just remove that. Depending on your specific exhaust, it may be uh, longer or shorter, the uh, bolts. And then your end cap should come right off. Then just set that aside. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're basically going to have an insert right in the back of your uh, silencer that you're going to have to pop out some you'll have to put a screwdriver inside in between the core and the pipe and like pry it out others like this BBR pipe right here you have to go from the upside and pry it out just be careful not to chip your anodizing but first remove the three generally 8 millimeter bolts around the can of the pipe. Let's pop those up. Set those aside. What you're going to want to do is take a uh, flat blade screwdriver and just gently pry against it and you'll start to see it come out little by little just do it evenly and it should pop out pretty easy so uh, after that I'll show you what to do next okay so now I'm just gonna just start working it all around left to right like I said be careful the anodizing on the pipe you can also get back here and kind of tap it with a hammer if it's stuck in there good I've had this in part before so it's no big just gently pry it from the bottom Gloves would help once you get to this part because it is going to get messy and just popped out. So now that you have your end cap out, set that aside. You can set your screwdriver aside. And now you're going to have this. This is your exhaust packing and core. Right there. What you're going to want to do is definitely with the gloves. Reach in, use a thumb and an index finger, or a pair of pliers, if you would, and just pry it out. Mine's giving me a little bit of trouble, so I'm probably going to grab a pair of pliers, and try to work it out that way, because I don't remember cutting my fingers, because sometimes you can develop seven edges from a, over time, just every time, you know. so then just gently work it out. Like that, it's going to pop out, and now you just keep on sliding it up. Watch out, your core is generally what develops hard edges. So then just slide it out. Now you can, I would recommend using the floor, not your workbench, because you're going to get it dirty. Just, simp just get a kneeling pad or whatever, and then just separate the core from your packing. Remember which way the core goes in? Mark it with a sharpie or whatever. My end's kind of flanged out. Flared out rather. So I'm not going to forget. Set that aside. Now you have your packing. This packing is in pretty bad shape. It's cracked and falling apart. Um, I'm sure this pipe probably hasn't been repacked by the dumbass who sold it to me so that's what I'm gonna be doing you can salvage you can salvage this don't think you can't but now what you're gonna want if you're broke like me steel wool it's a great substitute for muffler packing so just get a ball of steel wool just take your core like so 
gently kind of unwrap it like it were to be a tape or something. Like this and just break it. And then you're going to want to kind of fold it up and just start wrapping it around the core. So just get a good even layer from front to back. Um, don't go too far back because then you might have fitment issues with your uh, cap that holds it all in. But uh, yeah, we'll be right back when I get this all done. Okay, so I've got it pretty good right here. Um, so I'm going to do like two more rolls of it just towards the uh, the end where it sticks in to where it meets with the white because you just don't want to run around there. I can almost bet the first time you tried to see a wolf tail turn out like shit. My first time, it didn't actually make it a little worse. But, uh, yeah, it's not too bad. So just roll it as tight as you can. I would use electrical tape along the whole way. There's another good reason for it is it helps compact the steel wool, so it lets you fit more on. And once the tape burns off, it'll expand and just fill all those crevices that you could normally get. So, yeah, I'd say one more. We should be all good. Just a tip. Try not to have any freaking steel wool on you, because the bees seeing you are very lucky. It kind of hurts. That's kind of like a reason for gloves, even though they're really dealing with messy things when you're just putting on. Some one rolls smoother than others. I mean, this one's kind of crappy one. But, uh, this is the last one. You don't want a real tight fit. Get it. Force it in. And just use your tape. This electrical tape's reaching out of its life, so. Okay, so now, you have something similar to this. That looks like a robot penis. Well, uh, anyway, so I'm gonna wanna kinda fit it into your hole. Like so. Just press it in with your fingers. I want a real tight fit. This is where I'm taping would help because now it's going to keep it in place. Just press it in with your fingers. It's okay if it peels back. I mean, it's only going to end up in there anyway, so you can fix it up. Press it in. Okay, so now that you've got it slid in and have the, uh, the coupler mate properly, you're going to want to get a screwdriver and also make sure that this hole is still around if you get any hammering. And, uh, just force the packing into the pipe. Press it on, just as you can. So, force it And now, you notice a lot of space. Now you'll use some more seal. Set the last hole, go back, and just rip the lid off. Do a little piece, just continue to rip it, and it'll go until you can fill it to the purposes. For example, just pop it in there, put it in the screwdriver, and it's a little bit tedious task. Just pull it off, just force it in. Make sure that the pipe is even in there. And you're gonna get it pretty close to the bubbles, not too far, but we'll let it out. Press it in place, like so. Just force it in. Like I said, leave a little space for the uh, bolt holes. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is get that end cap pulled off and just try to, if you marked it like I did, just kind of try to line it up best you can. This may be a tedious task that might take a few times, but then just hit it in. Like so, and just make. All right, now that you were packed, it, you should have some pretty good results.